We're going to be repairing the shark with all the parts it does need to repair it. As well as that, we're also going to be fitting a few more true upgrades to hopefully prevent it happening again in the future. So let me show you the damage was done to this truck and I'll show you the upgrades as well. So the damage from the run wasn't really, really too bad, but it did have one really bad landing straight on the edge of a concrete skateboard ramp and it did bend the chassis. We've got a brand new jackhammer chassis here to install on it. As well as that, a brand new centre brace as this other one did bend. As well as that, we do have this new M2C centre brace support. So that mounts up right there. And this piece here bolts onto there. So it keeps the whole thing very solid and very rigid. As well as that, we've also got a new rear motor mount support as I did break a fin off of the other one. So to hopefully prevent the chassis ever bending again, we do have the true front and rear centre braces to hopefully support the chassis a little bit better than the standard Traxxas ones do. We also have a steering bell crank for this truck to hopefully get rid of a little bit of the slop out of the steering. So it's more accurate and we can go faster at bigger, bigger jumps. And finally, we're going to be putting a trill front bulkhead on this truck as the standard Traxxas one did explode. Just look at that. It's a proper open diff right now. And with no further, let's start fitting all of these upgrades. I'll start by taking this rear end off first. All I've got to do to the rear end is throw the trill centre brace on there. Just look at the quality of the finish of that. As well as coming with all three parts of the rear centre brace, you also get all the hardware needed to fit these parts. So that will go on there. This will go to there. Oh, this car is going to look too good for Max to even use. The fastest way I know to fit all these parts of the rear end of this truck is three, two, one. And there it is. Just look at the quality of that. It all bolts up absolutely amazingly well. Now let's get that all fitted on to the new jackhammer chassis. Just look at that. That's absolutely amazing. So that is going to go on there. So three, two, one. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at the shine on that chassis as well. It's absolutely amazing. Just look at those true centre braces. So that is the part code. So now to do the front end of the truck, it's the same as doing the rear. So I'll put you guys back on once that's all done. So we've got the bell crank to fit, the front centre brace, and the front trill bulkhead. Look at that, the standard plastic one's melted as well as cracked in tons and tons of places. Definitely time for a trill one. So the front end's all built up now. Look at all them amazing trill parts all the way around this car. All we've got left to do is fit all of this stuff onto that new chassis. And that's a bit of a long process to film. So I've got a very, very quick way of doing that. So three, two, one. Look how good this thing looks now. Just wow. That's all I can say. All the true hubs in there looking absolutely perfect. Look at that M2C Racing Jackhammer chassis. Perfectly straight, this one. Hopefully this one we do not bend. All the true hubs, the true rear bulkhead, M2C shock towers. Oh, this car is just too nice. All the true bell crank, true center braces there, front and rear. And hopefully this new M2C design, where the centre brace is also supported in the middle, will hopefully reduce the chance of this centre brace bending. But just look at this, just take in the quality of all these parts. So I guess there's only one thing we've got left to do, 
is test out the real durability of these parts now. So in the last video of this car, we did have it in the Isle of Man. I did bend it and we cannot fault this car for bending from the impacts it took. However, the chance of me bending this now is very, very, very small. Because he's got all the true centre braces front and rear. A beefed up centre brace. Oh, I reckon I'm going to struggle with that. So let's throw the body shell back on. I'll put you guys back on once we're on the location. So the lipos I'm going to be using in this video are these Onyx 6900 milliamp 3S packs. So they'll fit perfectly. Two lots into there and give this thing tons, tons of power. So let's get those in there and now let's go send this truck. And look, they're all fitted in there perfectly. So boom, perfect. Body show on. Now let's go send this truck. So here we are on location, a bit different location to usual. Usually we're at a skate park, but we're gonna do a bit of a street bash today. Uh, compared to when we was at home, I have put armor back for six S tires on there. So let's see how it rips. So let's pop to Redfield Models, get this car fixed up and send it again at an actual skate park. On the way to Redfield Models now. Here we are, Redfield Models. Let's get this car fixed up and sent again in this video. So taking this off now. And that's a servo horn. So let's take a walk over here grab myself a servo horn and fit it to the car and send it once again. So all fixed up now, turn it back on. Look at that steering servo. So if you want to come check out Redford Models, link down below and that's where you can find them. It's all fixed up now. Check out Redford Models if you're local to it and come check them out. So here we are at the next thing. Big long field there to go flat out across if you want to. There's some ramps. Plug it back in and rip it again. Just look at that thing go. I wonder if I can go off of here, try and get a backflip and land back down there. Let's see. Yeah, that, that's not happening. Let's 
So far, this thing's taken an absolute pounding. So, let's see if we can hit this and do a backflip off it. So, ready? Shock towers are all dead straight still. Everything's holding up just amazingly well. Oh, we have no for our first shock test now. Not a big deal though. Got them two ones at home. Turn it back on. And guys, I reckon we should do one more big jump of the day and then if it survives, it survives. That's a car now, all what broke, didn't really break anyway, just the screws ripped out of the body mounts, but that's nothing too major, just put some nut on the bolts on that. But all the M2C parts, all the trill parts held up absolutely amazingly well. I absolutely love this car, guys, and let's get us out in another video and send it a bit harder next time.